Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all in fine health. Uh, yesterday, or late last night, there was um, an update to the game. Uh, before I get started, uh, yeah, we've just rested. Now, I've rested for a week, so uh, hopefully um, the cows should be um, um, okay. <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> we've got plenty of food in there anyway but anyway getting on with the uh the update uh let's have a look right they're introducing um a player vehicle so basically now any of you new people to the game will have a vehicle that you can drive around other than the tractor which is good i'll show you that shortly um actually no let's go out now and uh, i'll give you a bit of a sneaky peeky um yeah, the doors still need doing. Yeah, the, so that wasn't updated unless, of course, uh, I have. Well, I haven't actually painted them since the update, so maybe we should try it later on and uh, see if it has fixed it. But there it is. There's our baby. Um, got a bit of a glare with the sun. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's take a bit of a, uh, a screenshot of this bad boy, and we'll uh, we'll put that up on. Uh, on the uh, video uh, so there we go there's our screenshot so yeah i like the alloy wheels yeah that look pretty sweet but it is a bit of an old rust bucket isn't it yes uh, it is indeed so uh, hmm. uh <laughs> i'm not sure if you can sort of like um fix it in any kind of way uh but anyway it, it, it's drivable um it hasn't got a tow hitch on the back uh, I have actually tried uh, attaching this trailer on it, but it nope, didn't work. So that's a bit of a shame. But um, they've also uh, introducing a chainsaw, whereas you can sort of like, I, I, I think it's sort of like bushes like these and some very small trees. I don't think you'll be able to take these big trees down with it. Um, so yeah, uh, but I've not yet found one. Uh, I've looked all around the farm. Maybe you have to buy it from um, from a garage or um, even the, even the uh, building materials um, depot down the road there. I'm not sure. But if uh, if you've watched if you're watching this video and you've actually found a chainsaw, would you be able to leave us a comment down below to where I might be able to find it? Uh, it's not in my uh, doodah here. It's um, now I found this in the tool shed over here in the corner um this is where i thought it might be but nope no chainsaw so yeah uh and i've also looked in yeah any any sheds that have got like shelving on them uh i've looked in the uh the cellar of the house um not being able to find anything so yeah it's a bit of a shame but hey ho um but like i say you might you may very well have to buy one from a from a depot or something uh so what else have they bought uh little, 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 uh, added the ability to light a campfire in fireplaces mm -hmm. that would be okay but if you look around your house where in god's name do you actually see a fireplace Ah. Uh -huh. I don't see one. We got a chimney stack, but I don't see no bloody um, fireplace at all. Uh, and there's definitely none upstairs. I thought it might may have been like the boiler or something, you know, down in the cellar. But again, it's not that. No, uh, no fireplace in here. So, yeah, like, it's obviously something that's maybe going to come in later. Because if you look exactly where the, the uh, chimney stack is, which is just there, in yellow, you come back down. So you would expect it to be either in this room here, because that's a chimney uh, chimney stack there. Or downstairs in this room here. But looking at it, seeing where that is going it would actually be here see this pillar that is obviously the chimney stack but how the hell do you access that you can go into your engineer site but nothing comes up oh dear what happened there my screen just went totally small mm -hmm. hopefully that doesn't show up in the video 
because if it does I shall be a bit peeved but anyway um, let's do that again okay it works there. it works now but um but yeah so that that's the sort of place where you would have thought you could put um uh, light the fire but anyway moving on uh right uh, what else have we've got on there uh the the well i'm not sure if it's in at the moment but an animation of sitting down in third person camera um I'm just reading up. Yeah, so basically you should be able to sit down, I think, in third person. But uh, can we sit down here? No. <laughs> you know, this like it may may just mean the uh, the tractors. Uh, you know, the the vehicles that we're uh, we're able to sit in. Um, they've also added some live uh, some animals, uh, birds. Uh, like uh, I think it's an eagle um basically the eagles just fly around i think in the sky added stalks standing idle and looking for whatever uh taste you know is tasty to them they've also added i think deers and boars but they're uh when you come across any they will probably just run away uh they don't attack you in any sort of shape or form if we go up around the back here I did see some up here yesterday when uh, the update was on. Uh, I think, yeah, they're up the back. So we'll have a quick look at those. I'm just reading up on the uh, added uh, deer and boars. These tend to stick to trees or foresty areas, but can wander freely. Um, and they will probably run away when uh, players get close so we put that to the test there goes the deers and there's the balls <laughs> see ya <laughs> see ya hello oh you sweet thing you <laughs> oh yeah so uh, if i could get close enough i would probably be able to take a screenshot but <laughs> it's not letting me stand still get off my crops and you stay off my crops actually i wonder because every one of those ran in a totally different area uh some over there some over there so basically they may have it whereas they don't actually run across your crops because this this boar here has just gone down the pathway here okay i won't go down there i've got cows down there and <laughs> they do strange things um right the other thing that they've um uh, they've uh, they've done is actually they've increased the amount of manure that you get so if you have a look now look how much i've got in there now um which is which is which is great because that means then we're going to be able to be able, be able to use this bad boy sooner rather than later you know uh so we got basically i think is what it is is you've got m manure stored so you've got that that amount of st uh, stored in your thing and what is ready to go into the um the muck spreader i think you'd only get 39 percent of it um so yeah as long as you let that go up to 100 percent. but if you look it's got 3960 in there and this bad boy here can actually hold 1427 so you might actually be able to get uh two maybe three loads out of that i, I don't know we'll, we'll have to play that by year and see how it goes uh they've also They've also, it says here, much increased, did, uh, yeah, manual, pro, yeah, we've done that one. Uh, different icons uh, for different vehicles classed on the map. So if we look at the map now, you will see that every, uh, every vehicle that you've got has got its own individual picture. This, uh, this is the, um, the builder's truck um as you can see and uh, the new truck they look exactly the same i've noticed but you've got a picture just behind my star there of the uh, tractor uh you got one now that that's the fertilizer so mm, yeah the picture doesn't match up with what it actually looks like uh obviously you've got the plow there 
is that the plow no that's that must be the uh the cultivator i would believe is that the cultivator hold on let's have a look no that that must be the no that's the um harvester okay so anyway but yeah they they they've they've got pictures uh so uh it's just it's, it's going to take you a little time to work them out i think uh let's have a look what else have we got on there a number of level objects improved and bug fixes uh small fix for english voiceovers okay we'll put that to the test in a minute we'll go over and see old janet and see if she's uh see if she wants to talk to us and a new set of German voiceovers. So, okay, that works. Right, so. So, basically, we've gone through quite a bit of this stuff. As what I shall do is I shall leave a, uh, a link down below on the um, on the update uh, notes, if you like. And uh, you can see, uh, see it for yourself. But you can see the eagles flying around up there in the sky. Looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And it doesn't really actually affect my fps which again is very 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 cool uh so i'm happy as larry i'm just looking around for one of them stalks i did see one yesterday just sat in a field minding its own business and then i went up to it and it flew off um can't see any as yet but uh, it's not to say that they're not they're, i think they're what are they black and white um I don't like this blurriness. You know when you're walking around or something like that or you're trying to focus, you know, let's have a look. Let's just put this to the test. You're walking around and then it goes sort of like, the screen goes like, I don't know, hazy or, or blurry kind of thing. But then you stand there just for a second or two and it it sort of like corrects itself. Mm, not sure about that. I might have to go into my settings and check that out. But there, yeah, I'm just running down the road here to see if I can see one of those stalks. And then we're going to go back to the farm and we're going to try our truck out. So is what it's going to mean now with having that truck is we're going to be able to park that somewhere, you know, uh, where somewhere where we visit uh, a lot of the times, you know, like uh, the builders merchants or uh, um, where else we could, could we go? You know, uh, the place where we go and buy uh, buy seeds and uh, fertilizer and stuff like that. So you've got you'll have a vehicle there to uh to quickly jump into so yeah that, that that's pretty cool right so let's uh go and milk our cows because we've rested for a week and uh get our daily dose of chickens uh, uh chickens eggs i mean so what have we got in here one two three and a four that seems to be a bit quicker too is picking up those uh, five six seven eight nine nine oh excuse me ten so we still got ten hens <laughs> right let's uh bring up the old engineer site uh hen food oh mate we're, we're good for hen food we ain't gonna have to worry about that for a long long time now cool and the same with the um food for the cows uh i actually uh filled it right up yesterday all i would probably need to do is to put one bale Let's, let's put that to the test. Close the door. Oh, I'm getting cold. Good morning, ladies. How are we all doing? Be with you in a second to free you of that milky goodness. So let's go and uh, get a bale. bale. We've got more bales um, that are going to be available to us fairly soon. Because we've got two, uh, two fields there. So as what we should probably do is uh, stockpile up on. So let's drop that on the floor. That disappears. Come out here. Yep, all back up to 100%. So we are good to go. Yeah, that's going up nicely. Right, so let's milk these uh, these bad girls. Let's start from this end. And work our way up. There we go, last one. They're all good, all good. So how much milk do, have we got all together now? We've got 67. Now I have been putting... Um, a lot of uh, the stuff um, from my inventory into the uh, into the cellar or, or the basement of the house um, because it says that's what you should do um, or could do before uh, even selling. So right then, so we've got the uh, cows and the uh, the hens sorted out for today. 
Um, right, we're going to leave that. We're going to take the truck, the new truck, and give it a bit of a spin. It doesn't look much, but I, like I said, uh, to me it looks like a bit of a, I don't know, a Toyota kind of shape thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right, let's jump in. So let's go and see uh, Janet and see what she's got to say for herself this morning. See if she wants to be my girly. <clears throat> I ain't worried what side of the road I actually drive on at the moment because there's no traffic in the game. But speed wise, you know what I mean, I'm going to fly past Janet's. So we're getting up to around about 60. Which is a little bit slower than the um, uh, the builder's truck, but yeah, you know I mean, like I said, at the end of the, oh shit, you didn't see that, okay? You just did not see that. Actually, I'm going to pop down to the builder's yard here and see if that chainsaw is available here, because as I said, I I, I could be just uh, you know walking past it every time I go to, into a certain area of my farm, but. Uh, we shall see. We'll have a look in the builder's yard. Because any tools that you buy, you would have thought would be in here. So let's stop here a second. Just have a, ro a roam around. So yeah, that's just building materials. More building materials. So it might even be at a garage. I wouldn't think that it would be at a garage. One of the garages, you know, where you buy um, machinery from you know uh tractors and uh combines uh sorry yeah tractors harvesters and uh trailers and things certainly can't see anything that looks like a chainsaw in here but like i say it is probably around the farm uh, that's even if it's in yet let me just have a look right introducing small chainsaw to cut away bushes and smaller trees chainsaw will not cut regular or huge trees only smaller ones so it doesn't say that it's not in the game so you know so let's say we could pre probably be running past it every time that we uh that we're on our farm unless of course it's a quest you got to do let me have a quick look at the map Can't see any questy kind of things up there. Nope. Oh, what's that? I see a picture of a hammer. Oh, that's because. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's a picture of a hammer there, you would have thought there would have been a place there for the chainsaw. Oh, never mind. Sod it. Anyway, let's go and see. Uh, see how our lady. Janet and see uh, how she's feeling today and there's a stork there look now that one actually is on a field so you're gonna have to watch out for that that they're not just eat the, you know they're not eating your uh, your seeds mm-hmm because that is going to become a bit of a headache if they do could be just eating the worms the little bugs but again as you can see they fly off as soon as they detect uh, you, you know a player or something like that they they do uh, just fly off right then so let's go and see Janet see that's even if she's around on her farm this morning and see what the voice um, thing sounds like are you here Janet oh there is that her over there yeah there she is Now we could actually leave this truck here because we're going to be visiting Janet quite regularly so don't want to be going over her, uh, her crops. So let's just park this here for now. Alright you can stop now. There we go. Where are you go? When you get out of this bloody truck you just don't know which way you're going to be facing. And I still got that bug again you know where I logged in and uh, had the uh, scaffolding in my hands. Oh, she's ready to talk to us. She's happy. To bring that up, just um, uh, right click. Hi there. Good morning, friend. Now, I, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I like this saying. <laughs> 
Did it hurt when you were falling from the sky? See that? To me, could be a bit of an insult. <laughs> Did it hurt when you were falling from the sky? You're a real charmer, aren't you? She, she's still only uh, really fond of us. I want you to love me, girl. I want you to love me. Care to talk? Good morning, friend. You really look beautiful today. You're a real charmer, aren't you? Oh, yes, I am. Right, so we're getting no more messages. So she's happy. She's happy. So we'll leave her at that. Uh, but, yeah, I think I might just, just for now, leave the uh, leave the truck over here. And then we can just keep popping back and forth. Um, that makes sense, I think. Like, it might not be Janet. You might have to go and find yourself a, um, a you know, a proper single lady. Because uh, we've, like, Janet is the only one that we've been sort of, like, bothering with. Um, but, yeah, she's happy. We'll leave, her to, we'll leave her being happy. So let's uh, see if we can teleport back to uh, back to base. There we go. How easy is that? Not a lot of people like the uh, the fact that you can teleport on on these games like Farmer Simulator 17 or it or this. You know, if you don't like it, let me know, and I won't show it on camera. I'll leave that while I'm just sort of like doing things off camera. Anyways, right, so I managed to get all my fields um, seeded yesterday. Uh, so I left you, I think, on that one over there. Uh, so we've got two wheat seeds. Uh, and I think the other three are lupin. And then you've got, obviously, the uh, the grass field, which is just over there. See those animals? They've spawned back at the same spot. Okay, let's see if we can get close enough to uh, to put an animal on the uh, on the video. You know, I'll you know see if I could do a screenshot of some sorts. Sneaky, sneaky! Don't look at me. Oh, that one's run off. And oh man, how close have you got to be? And then they run off. See, it ran towards the field, but it's running on the outside of it, look, which is good. Which is very good. Okay, very respectable animals. Cool. Now, as long as they're not running over your uh, over your crops, I'm happy with that. See what I mean about when you like, I'm running now, and look how blurry the, the barn looks. But as soon as I stop running and stand still, it stops being blurry. It's like motion blur kind of thing. Um, but I think I've I've actually got that turned off in my settings. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, options. And uh, let's go into this one. Blooms. Oh, actually, blooms and blurs. They're on. So let's turn that off. Back. Resume. Aha! That's what it was. Da 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 da. Aha! I don't mind saying that it looks the same going back this way. So let's go a little bit further up here. And then run, run back down towards the uh, the barn. See what I mean? You turn around. Okay, it seems to stop it because you're looking directly at it. Okay, now that, now that works. That'll do me for now. So then, uh, what are we going to be doing um, in the next episode is probably going to be harvesting these fields. So now we know for sure that um the cows don't really eat as much food as i first thought as i say look is is they're both on hay 10,000 and uh, you know it, that you know they they're happy they they're, they're going to be very happy for a number of uh, weeks so let's just say it, it drops down 2% uh a week should we put that to the test now uh how are we doing for food ourselves let's uh, eat something Okay, let's put that to the test and see how much they do actually use uh, if we rest for a week. If we've only got to put one bale in there, then that, that, that sits fine with me. All right, so here we go. Press enter. 
taking a long rest because we deserve it. Oh, hello. 26th of September. Cool. Right, so we have cows that need milking and eggs that need to be uh, picked up. So let's have a look, see how much you actually use for a week's rest. So, well, it didn't use a great... Well, it used a bit, but hay. You know, the hay has gone down uh, a little, 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 uh, 54 uh, 54 okay so if we stick one bale let's just get a bale and stick it in there and see keep my ladies happy and they will keep us happy can I open the door no I've got to drop the bale drop that in there and now they're back up again. So I'm good with that. I mean, resting for a week, if it's all it's going to cost me is one bail, I'm, I'm happy. And then my girls are going to stay happy. And now that's going up. That's gone up to 54%. I'm good with that. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Oh, did we milk? Oh, I'll milk those in a moment. Uh, I'll do that off camera. Because yesterday's video, oh... <laughs> I was still laughing afterwards, you know. Um... <laughs> It's just the way that she... It was like she wink, winked at us. No. Not very dignified at all. <laughs> uh, you know, and you can do it, and then they turn their heads and look at you, or, or it seems like they're looking at you and say, did you like that? <laughs> but there you go. So anyway then, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'm going to have to love you and leave you there for today. There's not a great deal more I can do uh, in today's episode, but like I said... I shall uh, leave a, a link below on the latest patch notes or the latest update. Um, and if you do actually uh, reach the end of this video and hear me saying this, if you find the chainsaw, if you'd be ever so kind enough to let me know where you found it, it'd be much appreciated. Um, and if you, like I said, if you do like this video, please leave us a like. Uh, new to the channel, please subscribe. And I would like to say a big thank you to all the subscribers that have sus subscribed to my channel. It's much appreciated. Um, but if, like I said, if you'd be ever so kind, if you like any of the videos, please leave us a like. It does help me out um, immensely. So, um, so until the next episode, then, ladies, gents, and boys and girls, bye-bye for now. Love to you all.